Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. I've got an interesting video for you today. We're going to talk about a solar panel from eSeam. So I want to say thank you right off the bat to eSeam for sending this panel out for review. They offer three different panels. They offer a 30 watt model for around $70. This is the 60 watt model, which is around $120. And they also offer a 90 watt model, which is around $170. So let's go ahead and open this up and we'll take a look at this panel. I'm very excited about it. So the first thing I gotta do is take it out of this bag and make sure that you read the warning label right there. Make sure that you don't let this, your kids play inside of this bag, right? Don't want any kids suffocating themselves. So you can see the size of this thing is not too bad. It's not that heavy. It's 1.4 inches thick. And if we look at the width, it's 18 and a half inches wide and it's about 14 inches deep. So that's when it's folded. So it's a nice package. It's got a nice little carry handle here. So it's kind of like a vinyl. And then on the back here, you have the leg. This is a magnetic leg. And when you put this down, it holds that down. You can see here on the back that there's also two slide release buckles. Okay, so the slide release buckles, you just push those and it opens up just like that. Now I will say that I wish they would have used a little bit better quality slide release buckles. These feel very flimsy and I'm not taking anything away from e-scene. I'm just sharing my honest opinion of those slide release buckles. I think uh, if they would have put a little bit nicer ones there, it would have been better. Now they might hold up just fine, I don't know. And honestly, there's probably not uh, that much tension here because if you look at the handle and as you would carry this thing it's going to carry in the folded position anyway so even if those slide release buckles failed you're still going to be fine carrying this panel so when you unfold the panel you see that it unfolds right here you can see on the top here there's the e scene logo and on each corner on the four corners of this panel there is grommets okay and then on the bottom we have those grommets as well. So we have four grommets on this panel. So very nice looking panel. And you can tell that the manufacturing process of this panel is different than a lot of your standard panels. This has ETFT polymer, which is a lot stronger. And this panel is water resistant. Not waterproof, but it's water resistant, meaning it can get rained on a little bit and it's not going to hurt the panel. So very, very cool that they do that. Plus, there's 95% light transmittance through these two millimeter thick panels and it's very easy to clean these panels as well. So very, very cool. If we flip it over, you'll see that this little foot comes back just like so and that's how you stand the panel up. You'll see that that panel has no problem standing up. No problem at all. It's a very solid leg. I kind of wish they would have put in two legs on there, but to be completely honest with you, that one leg works just fine. That panel stands up no problem. So I really like the fact that it's magnetic. It just falls right into place and it's, it's very convenient. It looks nice. So right here we have this pouch and it has a waterproof or water resistant zipper. So if you get water around this area, it's not going to hurt it as long as it's not like underwater. So if you get a little bit of rain or something like that on there, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So opening this up, we'll take a look and see what's included with this panel. So you have 
a little card here. Thank you. Congratulations on your purchase of an eSeam product. If you have any questions or issues, please let us know. We'll do our best to give you the kind service you deserve. And then they give you their email address right there. So I thought that was pretty cool. Nice little card that they put in there. The next thing that you see is the solar panel manual. So very cool. And they say thank you again for purchasing their product. Right here is a list of accessories that comes with the panel. Technical specifications, that's some good information for you. They talk about the compatibility and feel free to pause your screen anytime during this video if you want to hang on to some of this information. And without further ado, I'm just going to continue moving forward on this review. So pause your screen. There's a little picture with some icons and stuff. They give you some warnings. And then let's take a look at the last page. Some frequently asked questions. I always like reading that part, so I'll go slow. So very cool. If it's partially cloudy, will the panel still work? Yes, it will. So very nice. And then of course on the back it talks a little bit about the warranty. And then again there is contact information for eSeam. Very cool. This product is made in China. Okay, right now you're looking at all the cables and accessories that come with this solar panel. So starting here on the bottom, we have a 5.5 millimeter by 2.1 millimeter long. And then on the other side, we have an Anderson. This part connects to the panel, and this part connects to things like Jackeries. Some of the older Jackeries use this, this Anderson port. A lot of travel trailers and things like that that have solar input will accept this Anderson. So it's very nice that they include that. Anderson is a good solar cable. The next cable that you see has the same thing on each end. We have five and a half millimeters by 2.1 millimeters long. One end will plug into the solar panel and the other end will accept either of these adapters. So this one here, this is the eight millimeter, which is very common uh, to plug into solar generators. This next one is five and a half by 2.5 millimeters. Now, if you look at that, the yellow one, and you put it right next to the black one, they're both five and a half millimeters, but the length is different. The black one is 2.1 millimeters long, and the yellow one is 2.5 millimeters long. It's a little bit longer. Now this third one, I'm not quite sure exactly what this is for, but if I'm not mistaken, this is a 1.35 millimeter port. Now I'm not sure, like I said, what that goes to, but it's included with this solar panel. Now the next one that you see here on the very top is the standard port that plugs into the solar panel. So that's, uh, once again, that's five and a half by 2.1 millimeters. And on the other end, you can see that we have the very standard MC4 connectors, which are, are standard across the board on solar panels. So this cable is really cool because what it does is it gives us the ability to turn this solar panel into a standard solar panel. So if you want to branch connect this in parallel with another panel or something like that, this is the cable for that. If you want to connect it to maybe a charge controller or cut it into your system, this is the cable for that. Okay, so let's take a look at this and you can see there's a series of ports here. You've got two USB A's. These are quick charge 3.0 ports. And this is a smart charger, so this solar panel will do a few different things. It'll determine what you have plugged into it to charge, and it'll change based on what you have plugged in. So for example, these two ports can put out five volts at three amps, or they can put out 9 volts at 2.5 amps or they can put out 12 volts at 2 amps so very cool and the total wattage that you can get out of these USB-A ports is 24 watts 
Now the next one you see is the USB-C charging port. It has three different options as well, actually four different options. You can do 5 volt at 3 amp, you can do 9 volt at 3 amp, 12 volt at 3 amp, or 15 volt at 3 amp. And this USB-C will put out a total of 45 watts. Then you have over here on the far right your DC output port which is 18 volt open circuit 3.3 amp and it'll put out a total of 60 watts so very 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 cool very cool you also see that little red indicator that will illuminate when you have adequate sunlight so very cool and I like that they put this little this little part right here because you can stick your wires in there just like that and then you're good to go you're not going to be losing your wires so based on whatever you're going to want to charge you just take this cover and this cover will come off if you just pull it's just a little rubber grommet you just pull that bad boy off it doesn't hurt anything but they leave it there because it protects uh, water from getting into those ports okay there's the solar panel got it set up I am charging my my solar generator and I'm currently receiving 26 watts just a minute ago I was receiving 33 and here we have a different solar generator and we are bringing in currently about 12 watts and I was hoping to see a little bit more this is I've got full Sun out here and I live in Arizona 13 watts 14 13 I was sure hoping to see something like 40 or 30 or something like that. I've got decent sun and right now I'm charging my X-Star and I'm getting about 17 watts of input right now. I was hoping for a little more. Earlier I was getting 26 so I have a GoPro here. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my GoPro see if I can get it charging. Put that bad boy in. There's the little red indicator. So the GoPro is now charging. At the same time, I'm bringing in 18 watts. I have this other wire for my phone. So let's go ahead and plug that bad boy in. There it goes. It popped up. My phone is now charging. So I got the GoPro charging. I've got my phone charging. And I'm also charging the X-Star at 10 watts as we speak. So it's doing pretty well given the type of sun that we're receiving right now. So right now you can see that I have eight 18650 lithium ion rechargeable batteries all charging simultaneously. So that's powered by USB and that is very impressive because that's not an easy task so to see eight batteries charging simultaneously that's that's pretty cool okay so here we are with my final thoughts on this solar panel right off the bat anything that this panel does that's USB is fantastic I was able to charge my GoPro I was able to charge my phone. I had an 8 bay lithium ion battery charger that was USB powered. I was able to run that, all three of those things simultaneously and this panel worked fantastic for those applications. Now where I saw the struggle with this panel was in the ability to charge my solar generators. Now I live in Arizona and today was full sunlight outside. The maximum input that I was able to see coming into my solar generator was 33 watts. Now this is a 60 watt panel. I would have expected to have seen wattage inputs somewhere in the neighborhood of 40, 50 maybe, but no, I didn't get anywhere near that. In fact, I don't think I was able to capture 33 watt input on video. It was very brief. Most of the wattage inputs that I was experiencing in good sunlight 
was about 17 watts, about 15, 20. It jumped up to about 26 for a bit, stayed there, but around 15 was seemed to be the norm. I thought that it was my solar generator, so I tried several solar generators and the results were the same. So I would have expected to see more performance wattage input wise into charging my solar generators. Now the big question that people always ask me is would I recommend this product? The answer to that is without hesitation yes I would recommend this product. It is still fantastic for the USB stuff that it does. It works like a champ and to get even 17 watts of input on a solar generator is still progress. You're still making additions to that solar generator. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I would like to see improvements made on the input of the solar generators somewhere 40, 50, something like that. Because let's not forget that this is a 60 watt panel. I love the construction of this thing. I love the way it's built. The leg is very effective. The magnet works very good. I love the fact that this solar panel is water resistant as well as the zipper here. So it comes with good accessories, but uh, if they could just up the input just a little bit, maybe jump into the 40s, this would be fantastic, without a doubt, as far as a solar generator charger. But uh, for USB devices, it's fantastic. I would highly recommend it. Please make sure that you check the description box down below. I'll put links to where you can find this if you're interested. Feel free to leave comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. Thank you for stopping by. And until next time, I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you then. Bye for now.